police say the officers involved in the Clifford Owens B case did not violate department policy. Mayor Jeffrey Mims says one of his top agenda items for the year is police reform. That reform includes how officers should comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live after speaking with the mayor and his agenda items. Caroline. That's right. I spoke with Mayor Mims today and he says the city has made tremendous progress over the last 18 months addressing police reform. However, there's still work that needs to be done. It is how do we create uh, the best set of opportunities for trust uh, among the citizens as well as the police. Opportunities to gain trust is key in achieving police reform, but Dayton Mayor Jeffrey Mims argues trust goes both ways. Both parties to be calm, to be uh, responsive, to be respectful to each other puts us in a better situation where the anger piece doesn't um, uh, dominate in terms of those relationships or those interactions. When Mims served as a city commissioner, he was the city's use of force committee lead. An important tool in police reform is teaching de-escalation techniques to the public and officers involved. Tools that Mims says would have played a huge role in Clifford Owensby's arrest in 2020. De-escalation is uh, what we've seen as, as primarily the, the foundational piece to some of the kinds of things happening that we are not happy with with regards to relationships with the police. Owensby is a paraplegic man that was dragged from his vehicle by hair during a traffic stop by police last October. Since then, Owensby has filed several lawsuits claiming the officers violated the Americans with Disabilities Act and more. Now, Mayor Mim says including ADA policies with law enforcement agencies will help heal community relationships. But, uh, making sure that there is respect and responsiveness relative to those situations because those citizens as well deserve uh, dignity and respect in terms of their, uh, their treatment. Now, just today, Dayton Police announced they will be hiring a new position that will be overlooking department compliance within the Americans with Disabilities Act and more. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.